Okay, so we're here with John Clarence, who is going to, he has a new show coming out, and it, it, you said February 16th. Talk to us about your character and everything about this new show. Everything. Everything. I'll give you some, and you got to watch it for some of the other stuff. Okay. Um, so uh, the character I play is Simon. He's a marketing executive at a place called SparkPoint, which is a tech firm. Um, Simon specifically has a trauma that he's just experienced, and the conceit of the show is <laughs> Zoe, um, she has this unusual ability to hear people's heart songs. So she gets to see or hear beyond the mask that they present to the world, and she gets to understand what's going on in their emotional world. Um, and in doing so, she opens up, she grows, she helps a lot of people around her grow and develop and evolve. And it's a really beautiful story. I think it's really special. Okay, so she gets to hear your, she knows your heart songs? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a minute. Metabolize that. Okay, I got to metabolize that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so then, so now we're going to go all over the place. Okay, cool. I'm going to throw you really off your game right now. All right. What is your go-to karaoke song? Um, Dove's Cry, Prince. Well, Dag, you weren't supposed to be so prepared. I'm not. It's just like a very specific song. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so for all of the people out there who are going to watch this show, yeah. you, you I, want you to, I want to know how many auditions did it take for this role, for you to get this role? Um, for me to get this role, it took two auditions. Um, I went into a director session, and then the next one was a producer session, and it was very, uh, it was a very unique experience. I think that one of the biggest things that I found is um, the showrunner Austin Winsberg is a brilliant, brilliant man. And before I went into the producer camera test and stuff like that, we spoke for what had to be at least 20 to 30 minutes, and he told me about his heart. He told me about why he wrote this show. He told me about um, what matters to him and what he's hoping to do with the show in the world. And it aligns a lot with my purpose and um, kind of tapping into the vulnerable parts of humanity and, and allowing us to connect to one another. And, and also the character that I'm playing lost his father and I lost my father years ago. And so it's just very, thank you. And it's just very, the conceit of the show is just a beautiful opportunity for us to connect. And when connect. I, to connect, yeah. Not be on Instagram <laughs> or social media. <laughs> connect. Yeah, 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 yeah. To actually connect. Um, just think about it. Like Instagram and social media, we're curating our faces. You know, curate our faces. I'm not demonizing them. I have them myself. Yo, yo. Of course you do. But there's something so beautiful about this that we get to see all of these different characters. The cast is incredible, just incredible. Mm -hmm. I, I go to work inspired every day. And not only that, but all of these characters are so different. Their backgrounds are so different. Uh -huh. um, it's truly inclusive in the ways that I, I appreciate. That's right. And also, not only that, but we get to see their inner world. We get to see like what they're projecting, and we also get to see what's going on in their hearts. And so in all of the different faces and shades and, and, and ways of being in the world, uh -huh. we get to connect via the emotional life, which is the thing, the through line. It's like the deep undercurrent that connects all of us, which is beautiful. I think it's really special. You know what I like about this is that I feel casting and the producers caught your true essence. Because for you to get this part, mm -hmm. this seems like this is like in your DNA. I would agree with that. I would agree with I that. I always say you get. I always say people who play these certain roles, it's somewhere in their essence to play these roles. Absolutely. And I believe with you, it it's in your DNA. And maybe casting is psychic. Maybe they just. <laughs> maybe they're just. Maybe they're so good at you know casting. Absolutely. And producers saw that as well, and that's what shined through. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. I think that when we are when we work on specific things. Um, I think the best way that we can lead in any room, in any endeavor, is with our heart space. I think that when we lead with that, we, we, we allow the opportunity um, to connect for who we really are. Um, which is really, it, it is frightening sometimes to put your heart out there, to communicate from that space that makes you vulnerable. But I think when we do that, when we are accepted, when it is a yes, then it is a yes because of the truth not because of a performed self. Or filtered. Or filtered, so, yeah. Which filter are you using today? Which filter am I using? 
Is this a rhetorical question? No, no, you want me to answer that? For a second. I, I was trying to get deep and shady. Deep and wow, Ooh. deep and shady. But you know what? Because your true essence is so good, yeah. you didn't even pick up on it. I that that, that, oh, that you were trying to get deep and shady? Yes. No, I didn't catch that at all. That's, that's <laughs> why this guy is going to go far. It's like cuz he's oblivious to shade. He's, you, just, he's just like, where the palm tree? Your shade goes over your head because you're so good. Oh, oh God. You're such a good person. <laughs> that makes me really uncomfortable. No, to, that, that should but make I, me very, very proud of yourself. Well, I, I am proud of myself, and I'm grateful to my family, my mom and dad. Um, I'm the product of them, you know? I'm a product of How my How many family. brothers and sisters? Three. I have two sisters and a brother. Um, Are you the only one that's in Hollyweird? <laughs> Holly weird. Look at you. Um, I am the only one out here. Yeah, my little brother is a musician okay. um, and a creative, um, and my family is very involved in the community in Georgia with nonprofit work and stuff like that. Okay. Um, that's really important to us and who we are in the world. And I'm grateful to have been born to that group of people. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for talking to us at Hollywood Melanin. And you know what? Why don't you let us know your social media handles so we follow you. <laughs> Okie dokie. So um, uh, Instagram, um, at jstuiii. And then that's it, Instagram. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us at Hollywood Melanin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.